Time to check the comments on my Naomi Jed video. Oh boy, were the comments a doozy in this one. Now I do want to say that the overwhelming response to the Naomi Judd video was positive. A lot of people found it encouraging and helpful, but by far the most negative comment I got was, real quick, I want to take a few seconds and tell you about today's sponsor. It's the Daily Grace Company. What a wonderful company this is. If you need Bible study tools, journals, books and guides, prayer cards, Bibles, as well as highlighters, all kinds of things to grow in your relationship with the Lord, then check out our link in the description below. When you use our link, it helps this channel out. We would really appreciate it. And please like this video so that YouTube can push it out to more people. I'd really appreciate it. And thank you to everybody that supports us on Patreon and a special thanks to Tom Hoppins. I posted a video about the tragic events of Naomi Judd taking her own life and what the Bible has to say about it. I made that video because one, it was highly requested, and two, I thought it could be helpful to share what the Bible had to say about taking your own life, especially from someone who claimed to believe in God. However, there were a few people that, it didn't matter what I said, they weren't gonna like it. I started that video like this. Now the Bible does talk about one unforgivable sin. Did Naomi Judd's decision to take her own life keep her out of heaven? Or does God's grace and salvation cover those who decided to take life and death into their own hands? The answers that the Bible have to give might surprise you. A lot of people took that intro as me saying that the only unforgivable sin was taking your own life. However, this intro was uh, a mashup of what's to come in the video. This is what I say if you actually watch the video. Now the Bible does talk about one unforgivable sin, which is called blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. I clearly never say that the unforgivable sin is taking your own life. The only unforgivable sin is blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. And in that video, I share a little more in depth about what that means. Also, I got many comments like this. A lot of people started that video, paused it immediately, and then proceeded to tell me that I was wrong without watching the video. First of all, I never say in the video whether Naomi is in heaven or not. But I do say this. Personally, I don't think it's worth finding out if you'll go to heaven or not after the fact of you taking your own life. This is eternity at stake here. But by far the most negative comment I got was, how dare you judge Naomi? To which I replied with this, to which I got this response. So basically, someone judged me without watching my video, then said I judged Naomi, even though I didn't judge Naomi, then said they wouldn't watch my video because they already came to the judgment that I judged, even though I never judged Naomi. This is actually what I said in my video. I do pray that Naomi Judd did have a personal relationship, a genuine relationship with Jesus Christ in that her final sin was covered by the blood of Jesus. Only her and God know that now. Then said, I judge Naomi. A lot of people, especially today, love to use the verse, judge not lest thee be judged, and then do a mic drop as if that's the only verse in the Bible that exists. This is by far everybody's favorite verse to take out of context. It's easy for someone who doesn't know scripture to use that verse when something they don't like is being said. What if we look at what scripture really has to say about using judgment, as well as break down that infamous scripture Judge not lest thee be judged. Here's John 7, 1 through 5. Judge not that you be not judged. For with the judgment you pronounce, you will be judged. And with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. Why do you see the speck that is in your brother's eye, but do not notice the log that is in your own eye? Or how can you say to your brother, let me take the speck out of your eye when there is a log in your own eye? You hypocrite. Now check this part out. First, take the log out of your own eye, and then you will see clearly to take the speck out of your brother's eye. 
Now, when you look at this verse in context, you see that it is not prohibiting judgment altogether. It is saying, don't judge hypocritically. When you know that you are personally falling to the same sin you are screaming at somebody else to repent for, then you're a hypocrite and you don't judge correctly. However, when you allow God to help you defeat sin and temptation coming against you, then you can be equipped to share with a fellow believer the way of overcoming that sin in their life. When you call out sin, you have to use judgment to recognize that someone is in sin. It's just how it works. When you've been grieved and humbled by your sin, you can see clearly the way to help your brother out of that sin. What Jesus does rule out is pride in yourself that causes you to view yourself better than others. The Bible also says in John 7 24, do not judge by appearances, but judge with right judgment. Now, Jesus forbids hypocritical judgment from the self-righteous person. However, he commands us to use morally and biblically sound judgment. This can also be called discernment. Now, there are many instances throughout Naomi's life where she flat out denied the God of the Bible existed. But there were times when she did claim to be a Christian. I have my personal thoughts on what happened. However, like I said in my previous video, only Naomi and God know where she's at now. Hey, if you've been watching and enjoying our content on this channel, would you mind checking out our Patreon page? It's in the description below. You can click that link. It'll take you to our Patreon and you can see all the wonderful benefits you get for joining a tier. It would really help support this channel and support us to continue to make bigger and better content on a daily basis. Thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate it. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Please let me know so we can have a conversation together. And would you mind subscribing to this channel and being a part of this community with us? We post content almost every single day and we would love for you to be a part of this with us. And please like this video so that YouTube can push it out to more people. I'd really appreciate it. And don't forget to check out the sponsor of this video. Real quick, I want to take a few seconds and tell you about today's sponsor. It's the Daily Grace Company. What a wonderful company this is. If you need Bible study tools, journals, books and guides, prayer cards, Bibles, as well as highlighters, all kinds of things to grow in your relationship with the Lord, then check out our link in the description below. When you use our link, it helps this channel out. We would really appreciate it. All right, I'll see you next time. Oh.